had to be this way. Princess. <gasps> Who is that? Sunset Shimmer, a former student of mine. She began her studies with me not long before Twilight. But when she did not get what she wanted as quickly as she liked, she turned cruel and dishonest. I tried to help her, but she eventually decided to abandon her studies and pursue her own path. One that has sadly led her to stealing your crown. She replaced Twilight with this one. I suppose Sunset Shimmer thought you wouldn't notice right away that this was not yours. And by the time you did, it would be too late to go after your crown and element of harmony. But I don't understand. Where did she go? Where did she take the crown? You'll soon know more about this place than even I do. This is no ordinary mirror. It is a gateway to another world. A gateway that opens once every 30 moons. Sparkly! It has always been kept in the throne room of Canterlot Castle. But when Princess Cadence took over the Crystal Empire, we sent it here for her to watch over. I had always hoped that Sunset Shimmer would someday use it to return, to come back to Equestria seeking my guidance. Obviously, this is not what has happened. Twilight, you must use the mirror to go into this other world and retrieve your crown. Without it, the other elements of Harmony have no power and Equestria is left without one of its most important means of defense. Your crown does not belong in the place Sunset Shimmer now calls home. And in her possession, your element of harmony will no doubt be used to bring harm to the inhabitants of this other realm. They will not have the power to defend themselves. You understand the importance of your task? Of course. Good. Then you must go at once. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa! She's going... We're going with her. Right, girls? Ooh, I'm so nervous I You do realize that's not a real word, right? I'm afraid I can't let you go. What? Why not? Sending all of you could upset the balance of this alternate world, creating havoc that would make it impossible for Twilight to get the crown back from Sunset Shimmer. This is something Princess Twilight must do alone. Time is of the essence. On the third day, when the moon reaches its peak in the night sky, the gateway will close. And once it does, it will be another 30 moons before you will be able to use it to return. It's, it's all right, all right. You'll, you'll, you'll be back right. before you'll you know it. Great. We need to find my crown as soon as possible and get back there. I suggest we start searching the castle first. Works for me. Yeah, I don't think that's how the new you is supposed to be. I do not want 
to be like this for longer than I have to. Well, look on the bright side. You don't have those pesky wings to worry about anymore. Magic! It isn't working! Makes sense. You don't exactly have your horn. What?! We really need to find you a mirror. What do you think, Spike? Other artifacts she's stolen from Equestria? <gasps> what am I? Okay. I don't think this is a castle. I've never seen a place that's quiet like this. Everything is turned around. This crazy world is upside down. Getting on my feet. It's the hand that I was dealt. But I don't have much time with them. To learn all that I can They don't use any magic Fly with any wings I don't get these funny clothes Skinny legs or tiny nose Everything's confusing when it seems so new But I look a little closer And it starts to feel familiar too get it before you swooped in and ruined everything. You shouldn't pick up things that don't belong to you. It, it doesn't really belong to you either. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. That's what I thought. It's as good as mine and you know it. You really are pathetic. It's no wonder your best friends are all stray animals. How dare you speak to her that way? What did you say? I said, how dare you speak to her that way? You must be new here. I can speak to anyone any way I want. I can't believe you did that. I couldn't just stand there. Well, it's just that nobody ever stands up to Sunset Shimmer. Sunset Shimmer? You've heard of her? Sort of. I don't think I've seen you around before. Did you just transfer to Canterlot High from another school? Um, yes. Another <laughs> school. My name's Twilight. I'm Fluttershy. Sorry, what was that? It's Fluttershy. It sounds like you're saying Fluttershy, but how can that... Oh my goodness! Who's this sweet little guy? That's Spike. My, uh... Dog. Oh, he's so cute. Go on, eat up, little pup. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you just give anything to know what they're really thinking? He usually just tells me. Oh, wh what do you mean? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> Never mind. Sunset Shimmer said you picked something up. Something that belonged to her. It wasn't a crown, was it? How did you know? Uh, lucky guess? Do you still have it? Mm-mm. But you know what happened to it. Mm-hmm. 
This morning, I was passing out flyers for the animal shelter like I do every Wednesday. Canterlot's animal shelter needs more volunteers. Won't you help an animal that can't help itself? I have no idea how it got there, but I didn't want anything to happen to it, so I decided to give it to Principal Celestia. Principal Celestia? If she's the ruler here? You could say that. Technically, I guess she and Vice Principal Luna do make the rules. Where is she now? Probably in her office. Third door on your left. Thank you! Oh, wait! You're not really supposed to have pets on school grounds. Might want to tuck him into your backpack. That's what I do. They just get so lonely when I'm at school all day. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh no, I'm late for class. Come in. How may I help you? Um, uh... My name's Twilight Sparkle. I'm new here and, well, I understand that Fluttershy found a crown this morning and gave it to you. Yes, I've had Vice Principal Luna put it somewhere for safekeeping. No idea how it ended up on the front lawn. Were you interested in running for Princess of the Fall Formal this year? Uh, no, not exactly. The truth is, well, the truth is I, you see, the crown is actually... Princess of the Fall Formal? It's Canterlot High's big fall dance. Like the Grand Galloping Gala. A uh, Grand Galloping Gala? Oh, uh, it was a big deal at my old school. And was there a princess? Yes, but she wasn't exactly a student. Here at Canterlot High, the students select one of their peers to represent them. She receives her crown at the Fall Formal. Hmm. You asked me if I was interested in running for princess. Can anyone run? Yes. You just need to let the head of the fall formal planning committee know you'd like to be on the ballot. Was there anything else? Um, nope. That was it. Well, if you do need anything else, my door is always open. Twilight, why didn't you just tell her the crown was yours and ask for it back? Oh, I was going to. But imagine if one of them showed up in Equestria saying they came from a place filled with tall, fleshy, two-legged creatures with these. We'd think they were crazy. Hmm, you make a good point. Looks like if I want my crown back, I'll have to become Princess of the Canterlot High Fall Formal. So that's what I'm gonna do. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? I have no idea. <laughs> I know we've just met, but I was wondering if you might be able to help me with something. Of course! I've decided to run for Princess of the Fall Formal and... <gasps> oh, oh, gosh! Sorry, it's just... Oh, running for Fall Formal Princess is a really bad idea. Why? Sunset Shimmer wants to be Fall Formal Princess. And when she wants something, she gets it. She'll make life awful for anyone who stands in her way. Just ask the girl who ran against her for Princess of the Spring Fling. I have to try. Oh, I don't think you understand. You'd have to convince everyone here to vote for you instead of her. The athletes, the fashionistas, the dramas, the eco-kids, the techies, the rockers. Why is every pony... Uh, everybody separated this way. Maybe it was different at your old school, but at CHS, everybody sticks to their own kind. One thing they do have in common is that they know Sunset Shimmer is going to rule this school until we graduate. Not if I can help it. So, uh, huh, where would I find the head of the party planning committee? I said she'd probably be in here. Incoming! <gasps> Hi, my name's Twilight Sparkle and... 
Pinkie Pie? <gasps> Are you psychic? Uh, no. I don't think so. Unless, of course, that's something you can do here. Uh, not usually. Fluttershy said this is where I'd find the head of the Fall Formal Planning Committee. Fluttershy, huh? Don't let the whole shy thing fool you. She can be a real meanie. You two aren't friends? Waited a bit to get your name on the ballot, huh? Dance is day after tomorrow. I'm brand new here. Ooh! I thought you didn't look familiar. So, now that I'm really looking at you... Do you have a twin sister who lives in the city? Has a pet dog named Spike that looks just like that one? Uh, maybe? Thought so. Anywho, you just need to fill this out and you are officially up for the coveted princess of the Fall Formal Crown. <laughs> Is it? Somebody order a dozen cases of fizzy apple cider. Ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. Yeah, uh -huh, me. Can you bring in the rest? Yep. Hey, I know you. You do? Sure. You're the new girl who gave Sunset Shimmer the what for today. Twilight Sparkle here is going to run against Sunset Shimmer for Princess of the Fall Formal. I'd think twice about that. Oh, sure, she'll probably approach y'all friendly-like. I sure am looking forward to some friendly competition. That's so good to hear. But then, here comes the backstabbing. About the only girl at this school you can trust less than Sunset Shimmer is Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash? She's the captain of, like, every team at Canterlot High. She's also the captain of saying she's gonna do something for you and then turning around and not even bothering to show up. Thanks for the advice, Applejack. But this is something I really need to do. Huh? Suit yourself. Hey, how'd you know my name was Applejack? Um, I, uh, <laughs> didn't you say? Mm, nope. Well, uh, it was sure nice meeting you both. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. That one's trying to hide a secret, but I am totally onto her. She's psychic! Uh-huh. If you say so. This looks terrible! There should be more streamers near the stage and fewer balloons. Yeah! Streamers! And fewer balloons! Fizzy apple cider? Ugh, this is my coronation, not a hoedown. Well, now, it ain't necessarily gonna be your coronation this time around. Oh, is that so? You country folk really aren't that bright. Must be why the other students say such awful things about you. <sighs> Obviously, it's gonna be my coronation. I'm running unopposed. Not this time. The new girl just signed up. What? I know. Her handwriting is really bad. Where is this Twilight Sparkle? Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting the competition. I can't believe I didn't recognize you earlier. Should have known Princess Celestia would send her prized pupil here after my crown. And her little dog, too. It's my crown. Whatever. This is just a minor setback for me. You don't know the first thing about this place, and I already rule it. If that's so, why do you even need my crown? You went to an awful lot of trouble to switch it with the one that belongs here. Pop quiz. What happens when you bring an element of harmony into an alternate world? You don't know? Seriously? <laughs> and you're supposed to be Princess Celestia's star student? Then again, what were the chances she'd find some pony as bright as me to take under her wing after I decided to leave Equestria? Bit embarrassing that you were the best she could do. Oh. 
And I'd keep an eye on your mutt. Hate for him to be taken away from you. Is that a threat? Oh, of course not. <laughs> but I'd cut down on the chatter if I were you. Don't want everyone to know you two don't belong here. Now would you? You want to be a princess here? Please. You don't know the first thing about fitting in. I want you to follow her. Bring me something I can use just like you did with that last girl who thought she could challenge me. You got it, Sunset Shimmer. When the crown and its power are mine, Twilight Sparkle will be sorry she ever set hoof into this world. Not that she would have been much safer if she'd stayed in Equestria. <laughs> yeah, in Equestria. What are you still doing here? Go! No! Oh. Butter crackers. Voila! Sunset Shimmer is right. I don't know the first thing about this place. If I'm gonna really fit in and win votes, we need to do some research. Research? This place has a school. I have to believe it's got a library. Got your phone? You got yours? <laughs> so, I just push the letters here, and then the words and moving pictures will come up here? <sighs> That's right. Maybe this place does have magic. When you're a younger girls, what are you doing? We're just seeing how many hits our new music video has gotten. No, just no. The school computers are for research purposes only. It's just as well, y'all. Some of the comments about our song were really awful. Epic fail. Funniest thing I've ever seen? Funniest thing they've ever seen, huh? Uh, I don't know that that's what you should take from... where we're gonna sleep tonight. Way ahead of you. It's a little <coughs> dusty, <coughs> but it doesn't seem like anybody comes up here. It's perfect, Spike. So, how did your research go? I found this book. It's called A Yearbook. It seems to be something they use to keep a record of things that have happened at the school. Look, that's Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Fluttershy, and I'm gonna bet the girl on the far right is Rarity. There's a Rarity here? Uh, I mean, uh, interesting photo. 
It's interesting because they look like they're friends. They do look like our friends. But I thought we'd figure that out already. No, I mean, they look like they're friends with each other. But it doesn't seem like they're friends now. Not so much. I just can't help but get the feeling that Sunset Shimmer had something to do with it. I wouldn't put it past her. But she wanted your crown, because she's planning on doing something even worse. If you're gonna stop her, you have to focus on making friends here. You can't worry about why these girls aren't friends anymore. Even if they do remind you of your Ponyville friends. You're right, Spike. Ah, eye on the prize. Good morning, students, and happy Thursday. Just a reminder to pick up your ballots for the Princess of the Fall Formal today. They are due by the time the dance starts tomorrow night, so don't forget to turn them in and make your voice heard. Fluttershy said I'd need to win over all those different groups if I want to become Princess of the Fall Formal, so I've compiled a list of talking points. <laughs> you made a list? <laughs> That's so unlike you! <laughs> uh, please, continue. I'll start introducing myself, sprinkle in some things I've learned about their world into the conversation, show them how I fit in here. <sighs> okay, Spike, time to make a good first impression on my fellow students. The whole world sort of depends on it. Hey, look. <laughs> Why is everybody looking at me funny? Whoa! What are you... What are you... Rarity? Perfect! Oh, yes, this is good. No one will recognize you. Why wouldn't I want to be... And we'll need a disguise for your doll. Which is too bad. He really is so adorable. You know, with a little work, I think I could make him look like a rabbit instead. Huh? A rabbit? There you are, Twilight. So much for the disguise. I've been looking all over for you. Me too. Me three! I like your new look. I do have an eye for these sorts of things. Not that you seem to care. What? Why do you think she doesn't care? <laughs> No, never mind. Why are we all looking for me? What's going on? Oh, she hasn't seen it yet. Seen what? Oh, it's really not that bad. <laughs> Twilight Sparkle wants to be your fall formal princess. But what does it say about our school if we give someone like this such an important honor? 